Okay, so why don't we start out, um, Bonnie, why don't you just give us a quick overview on <laughs> Title IX? Uh, <laughs> no, uh, Title IX is um, Title IX of the Education Act of 1972, signed into law by President Richard Nixon. And it was actually not intended to be a sports law. It was intended to ban uh, sex discrimination at any institution that receives federal funding. So initially, it was assumed to be a means of getting women into law school, med school, grad school, Yale. Uh, and then suddenly, it was uh, pointed out that this would certainly impact sports programs. Um, so it became really clear that what a lot of universities wanted to protect was the money that went into what they call revenue-producing sports. This is just the beginning of justifications to limit change for women. But as the 70s progress, in fact, uh, women accelerate rapidly once they're permitted uh, to have funding facilities and access. But um, overall, what Title IX did was it gave women legal legs uh, to contest some really outrageous acts of discrimination that don't really save money for men's sports to begin with. Uh, the fact is that Title IX gives you a means of reminding a school that you are obligated to provide for both male and female students to well, do. Well, why don't we, and Mariah, why don't you get into your story? Because you sure. were right when, you know, Title IX was enacted, basically. Yes. Thank well, thank you. Yeah, it was uh, all of us around the country were starting to uh, pressure the athletic directors to enforce Title IX. I arrived at Stanford in 1974, and uh, speaking of show and tell, here's my, here's my penny. This is what we were given for uniforms. Does anybody recognize this? Yeah. Um, the way you wear it, now men wouldn't recognize it particularly because they didn't have to wear it so much, but the way you wear it is like this, uh, like an apron with you know, ties in the back, and it's very symbolic, I think, of those days when women were supposed to stay in the kitchen and not be out there on the basketball court. We were smart Stanford students, so we knew about the law that had passed in 1972, and we spent all of our free time in the athletic director's office reminding him about the law and holding sit-ins in the, because uh, we had older siblings who had lived through the 60s, so we'd heard about sit-ins, so we had sit-ins in the athletic director's office saying, look, you have to start enforcing Title IX. We